Hi, I'm Caroline. Welcome to FYI Newsbite. Here's what we found for your information this lunchtime. Accused at 14, a trial has opened for a teenage Australian boy arrested in Bali for allegedly possessing marijuana. The 14-year-old faces up to 12 years in prison if found guilty of buying 3.6 grams of marijuana on the 4th of October. The trial, which is being closely watched in Australia, will continue on Friday. Tragedy in the air and on the ground. A light aeroplane taking off from the border city of Tijuana crashed into an auto repair shop near a street market, setting fire to several cars. Three people died in the accident. At least eight cars were set on fire at the repair shop, which is in a neighbourhood close to the US border. Letting the people have their say, Greece has controversially announced it's to hold a referendum on the new EU bailout deal. Last week, Eurozone bosses agreed on a 100 billion euro loan to Greece and a 50% write-off of their debts. Prime Minister George Papandreou said the referendum would give citizens the chance to voice their opinion. However, analysts say a referendum could derail the broader Euro rescue deal. A victory for the prosecution. State lawyers in the trial of Michael Jackson's doctor succeeded in getting a medical expert for the defence to admit that Conrad Murray deviated from the standard of care. Dr Paul White was repeatedly questioned about the ways in which Dr Murray had broken guidelines in his treatment of Jackson. Dr White acknowledged that the anaesthetic propofol should not have been given without the constant supervision of a physician. It says it's your opinion that Michael Jackson self-administered either intravenously or orally. Correct? Correct. Based on the information that I had been able to review in the short time prior to writing a letter to Mr. Flanagan, yes. Would you walk out of the room uh, and leave them alone with no personnel and no monitoring if you're of the opinion they like to push propofol themselves? Would you walk out of the room in that situation, yes or no? I wouldn't, no, I would not leave the room. Lift off for the east, China's unmanned spacecraft Shanzhou 8 blasted off this morning, the latest step in their mission to build their own orbiting space station. The spacecraft took off from a base in the far western city of Jinquan. China launched its own space station program after being refused membership of the 16-nation International Space Station. Two more missions are planned, with at least one of them manned. And controversial, a Republican group in Virginia has apologized after this ad showing President Obama as a zombie and adding insult to injury. The zombie Obama had a bullet hole in his head. The ad was sent by email and the group have now said sorry. FYI is interactive. From your opinions to news you think we should be covering, we want to hear it all. FYI is available to you 24-7 online for all the information you need to know. Simply log on to tv3.ie forward slash 3e forward slash FYI. Here you'll find the latest stories, video catch-ups, comments and the FYI blog. We're also available to you on Twitter and Facebook. Just log on to the website and hit the social networking shortcuts. Time now for a look at the funniest clips on the web. Here's our top five. At number five, when you fall down, it's important to get straight back up. <laughs> or give up. At number four, forget copycats, these copy chimps are two of a kind. At number three, how to drink a beer like a lady. Go! Or a trucker. <laughs> At number two, working your way off stage can be such a drag. Oops. And number one today, this is what you call being provoked. And this is payback time. <laughs> and tune into FYI later for the newest downloads. We'll have more on the top stories, plus catch up on today's tech news with Cassie. And Paul will be here with all the sports. We'll see you back here at six, right here on 3E.